Hey Adam, how you doing? Go crush a day, man. Looking forward to flying with you, Mr. Gentile. Stuff. He was on the bill. He was in Dark Knight as an extra. The Dark Knight. He was in SWAT in the dive bar. So he's been in Casualty. Um, the Bill. So these are obviously popular English shows. Doctor Who. So I think that's it for now. So it started around 2005. So yeah. So this is who we'll be interviewing today. None other than Dwayne Henry and. He's a Hollywood actor, currently in NCIS, he's from Birmingham originally, so we'll be interviewing him on the BOE podcast slash BOE TV series, so looking forward to that, we're, what's the time now, it's coming up to 2 o'clock in Wolverhampton here at HQ, and we'll be driving down to Birmingham to meet up with fellow co-founder Robert Dean Smith, the first, and we've got Adam behind the camera, controlling how we all look. No makeup today though. We, we, we're not that big yet, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got that to come. We've just jumped off a, a group call with me, Phil and Rob, and that was all about strategy, focused on a new funnel that we're building for our marketing. So my understanding, Phil, is obviously, first of all, there's gonna be a front-end hook, which is over this checklist, which is going to contain telephone sales script in there, or there will be just a checklist, and then there's going to be at the back end this two hundred fifty thousand pound script. Yeah, I think this, I think this is what we're we're discussing now. Like, yeah, exactly. do, we, do we create a checklist, so or checklist. or do we yeah. just say, do you want the script? And we've just hired the services of our new coach because just like our clients we need guidance because we're ready to go to that next level and so it's always about stepping up to that next place conquering your mountain so looking forward to it and we got a fun day now cool how are you feeling about the interview i'm feeling good i'm looking forward to sharing the interview with our audience with you the viewer uh, i think it's going to be fire we're going to bring some humor we're going to bring some story some Transformation. Are we gonna have fun? Guys, so we just parked up the car. We're headed to Malmaison. We've got this interview to do right now. Looking forward to it. Look, I've even brought a shirt and a jacket just in case. We need to spruce up the attire. Hide these guns. <laughs> So there's a mailbox just over there. You can just see the sun is shining. Beautiful day. This sunny England. You don't say that too often. So we're here where they say the city of a thousand trades, according to Robert Dean Swift the first. Our fellow Scottish brothers are here with us in full support.
gut, I'm good. <laughs> hey, feeling mother. Feeling awesome. This is a nice little color. I like the exclusivity of the room. It's nice. Mm -hmm. And that was my first audition in America. And long story short, uh, it was out me and another guy for that show. I had three meetings. Uh, top of the NBC Tower with Jennifer Lopez, Barry Medina, Barry, um, Benny Medina, mm -hmm. and Barry Levinson, the director of Raymond. And then J Lo was just like, This is your first audition in America? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> Yeah, it's just like, Oh my God, your first? I was like, Yeah, it's my first audition. Another kid got it, obviously, the guy's mm -hmm. playing it, but I just think I was maybe a little bit nervous or just yeah, wasn't ready, yeah, yeah, didn't yeah, have the experience. Yeah. But from then, Obviously, I got close with a bunch of stuff after that. But from that first one, they were like, okay, this kid might can act. He just yeah. needs the right gig. Okay. Mm. So from then, you know, I didn't get nothing that year. But the next year, I booked a pilot called Paralyzed Pictures. It was set in the 40s, American, mm. Deep South. And I beat out a lot of American boys for it, you know. Wow. Well, I beat out all of them for it. Uh, I got that. I played a young saxophone uh, player. And, you know, I learned to play the sax as well because they gave me a sax for mm. a few months. So I got handy with that. That I did pilot didn't get picked up went quiet again at this point I'm homeless you know yeah. no money no nothing mm. just rolling stone crashing here and there but I've been used to that being from where we're from mm. you know you learn to run before you can walk and you just get on with it but that was a blessing because when they dropped me to uh, reoccurring mm. I got an opportunity to meet for a show called NCIS right. mm. so obviously when I first heard of NCIS you know obviously I didn't realise how big it was and it was big but I didn't know it was like mm. the number one drama in the world yeah. and all this. I didn't really yeah you were saying that when you were know, yeah. I didn't really care because that's none of my business <laughs> you know, I'm here to do a job and yeah. act and you know uh, portray character so the numbers is just politics to me you know and then my thought process going into my meeting was all my friends had booked you know my close friend Bashi Ashley Thomas you know we, we hang out a lot in the States he booked a show called 24 Legacy I had other friends who booked this show that show and I thought okay I might can get this because I'm the best of a bad bunch. This was my mentality. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, I have to get this because all the man them are booked. So all the guys going up for this, I can see them in the room. They're all Americans doing a British accent. Yeah. I was like, nah, because you've got to get this. If you don't get this job, yeah. <laughs> that was my thought going into it. So um, I had three or four meetings with them and they brought me on as a guest for two mm -hmm. episodes. And yeah. Then, yeah. And then did the two episodes. I came home to England mm -hmm. last mm -hmm. summer. Uh, and even when I was here last summer and was hype about me doing the two episodes I never got the series regular yet but I didn't tell yeah, anyone yeah, everyone yeah. assumed I was in it but I never got the green light so I came home literally to uh, I was here I didn't have no money because the two episodes didn't really pay a lot mm -hmm. so I was broke back home everyone thought I was this and that yeah. and I had nothing but I just held it down was humble mm -hmm. still did what I did with the kids because my main focus is just the children and sculpting the future yeah, and yeah, showing yeah. them I'm from where you're from. You can have what I got. You know, there's no excuse. I don't want to hear it. I don't hear nothing from none of you. Mm. You know, because I am you. You are me. You must remember this. A kiss is still a kiss. Remember this, a kiss is still a kiss. Oh.